Hello everyone, Watch 21 here and welcome to another video. If, like me, you have logged into your Synology NAS and you have a screens that kind of pop up like this, it's a bit scary to be honest. Uh, I just installed a new drive uh, to add to this pool. A video will be coming up at some point on that. And I was greeted with this, Apple, uh, volume abnormalities and uh, critical drive errors. As you can see there, it says degrade. I was a bit worried as to what this might be, but in a second you'll see that it doesn't really matter so much. It was a bit annoying. See, I click on volume there and you can see that I had a healthy status on my drive, but the drive itself had crashed. If yours is like this, then this video might help you out. Like I said, it says there the drive is healthy and I started highlighting everything, seeing what it all said. See, it tells me on the screen there to deactivate the drive first and then afterwards to restart your rack station or remove the and reinstall the drive, which I tried a few times. So we will now carry on with this video and get on with that. So basically what we want to do is just follow what it says here. So the first thing we want to do is click this action button at the top here, then down to deactivate drive. Once you do that, you'll get a little bit of a warning, which you see there, this action will remove drive two from the associated storage pool or SSD. You just click, I understand, insert your password and then hit submit. Obviously mine was uh, saved onto the system previously. So just wait for that, it says apply in here and then the drive will be deactivated any second. You can see in the background there it's just deactivated. And then you just hit OK. So what I did then was rebooted the Synology drive and come back in and seen that drive 2 as well as drive 3 because I added it was not initialized as you can see here. And then that was all good. So after that, you basically got to click on storage pool one. We will now do that and I'll show you. There we go, storage pool one. And this is where I was trying to work out what to do next, but I'll skip that part. So you could just click the storage pool one there and you can see it gives you a bit of instructions here of how to do it. I literally clicked that bit that says repair now, but you can click the three dots on the top right where it says, um, uh, it literally tells you that you click on it, press repair. So I do this twice, but uh, I don't know why. Uh, what you do is you basically click your drive that you want to do. I probably should have done all three drives since I did add another one, but um, I was trying to do that as a separate video. But I did drive two, as you can see here, and it loaded up. This took about three minutes to do. I've just skipped this uh, forward really quick by here. It's um, down to about 10 seconds or so this section is. But it does this loading for a little while or so. And then afterwards, any second out, there you go. It tells you, you know, basically any any data on it is going to be erased. Click continue. And then it gives you all the information about it. And it says fast repair uh, won't be performed because the data exceeds more than 80 percent if you've got less than 80 percent you may be able to get uh, fast data but i've got 87 percent on this so you just click apply it gives you another warning saying anything on there will be wiped and you just click ok as you've seen then and then it comes up with a big massive loading screen again this again took me about three to four minutes to do it and this section here should be skipping along quite quickly so any second now we should see the next stage and if by magic through the magic of film editing here we are so at the top there you'll see that it's repairing initializing drive 45.93 percent that actually drops right back down to like three or four percent in the second you will see so i highlight that it says 45.93 and then any second uh, which i'll skip to right this second so as you see there, it went down to 3.0% and it just flew right through it then over a space of about 20 minutes, I think it was, to do this initialize. Um, after the initialize uh, drive section here, it will then start doing the repair and it will say that it's going to take like a couple of days. So there we are, initialize is 96.43%. Um, I skipped forward a bit there. And then any second now you'll see that it's doing a repair 
and it's going to take like 40 odd days uh, the eight days it says and it goes up and up and up to like 40 odd days now this is my recommendation for this section close everything off you know even having this window open slows it down so you want to literally close the window down and let it go for me the next day it was done so I left it overnight this is quite late at night as you seen by the timestamp earlier on um, that I started doing this by the morning the next day it was done so we will uh, get to that now in a second and you will see it all being repaired so the next day about 12 or so hours later I opened up the storage manager as you can see here went into my storage pool think it'll be done and lo and behold it's still running at 194.57 percent as it just ticked up there with about 19 to 20 minutes remaining so it looks like it does 100 percent per drive so obviously it uh, needs to get up to 200 percent here but i left it going and about 20 or so minutes later i was left with this here uh, as you can see there, both are normal, both are healthy. It's trying to tell me to scrub my data because it is um, at 91% now, weirdly. So it must have been running some logs in the background. But yeah, that is literally how you save your disk, basically, in um, a storage pool. Uh, if this is helpful to you, uh, thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. Thank you all for my Patreon subscribers. Uh, I believe Rich Tech is the name on the top right of your screen right now. Uh, thank you uh, to you. Obviously, it all, it all helps. If this video was helpful to you, leave a thumbs up. If it wasn't, leave a thumbs down. Uh, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. And ciao for now, everyone.